Be around 68 this afternoon. Lots of clouds, lots of clouds tomorrow. It'll be sort of damp to start your Thursday morning drizzle, a good bet. Then it does warm up significantly by Friday. A couple showers and storms over the weekend, otherwise really hot next week. Really hot. Yeah. 90s. Look at that. Yep. Okay. All right. Look at so this. Conchas, one to ten. How are we feeling? Th this is this is the best concha I've ever had. Tea. Easily, and these are Easter Easter decorated. Here we go. Love I, it. Oh. it I, we thought maybe this was carrot cake, but it's yeah. it's just a carrot decoration. Yeah. Justin's is like a little Easter basket. It is. I thought you had eaten. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, I took okay. a bite out of it. He yeah. took a bite. He did call I'm the sprinkles on one. All right. <laughs> and you? Now let's see. I, okay. I got a little rabbit. I think. Let's see. Can we take it again? Uh, there we go. All right. Mm. Well, well this is just a little taste of what we're going to be having on SA Live. Because it starts right now. Ooh. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Aww. Hello and happy Wednesday. You are looking at Jerry. That is the grandmother with her little granddaughter, Charlie. And that is my mom, Leslie, with my daughter, Sloan. So they, shout out to the grandmas today. And they're today. all sitting right over mm -hmm. there. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. So our question of the day is, what's your favorite thing about your grandma? Oh, maybe those great little memories or something like that. I remember one time we were little, went to my grandparents' house, and I got sick and I couldn't go somewhere with all my brothers and sisters. My grandmother set me up in a chair with a blanket and cinnamon toast with the crust cut You off. have something on your I, shoulder. I do? Yes, you do. You do. <laughs> is that a ground squirrel anyway, on my shoulder? It, it, it sure is. Anyway, let Hi. us know your favorite okay. thing about your grandma because we've got an incident happening right now nah, okay. uh, here, here with Mike. Okay, so let's kick things off by getting a little <laughs> wild. Okay, uh, it's our Wild Wednesday and normally it is like a zoo here in the studio, so why not welcome here, bam, cute bam. critters you won't normally find in these parts. Okay, <laughs> Beth Bednar right here from Happy Dales is helping us out, okay, <laughs> is here to introduce Introduce us to some of her animal friends, including this very gregarious little guy. <laughs> Who is this? Welcome back, by the way. <laughs> this is Bam Bam. Bam Bam is a Richardson's <laughs> I know, ground I love the name. squirrel. So, ground squirrel in the name, okay, on the ground, <laughs> lives in burrows, can't yes. climb. Come to me. Does not does not live in the trees. Okay, no. does not live in the trees, although can climb, as we, uh, I mean, yes. climb yes. Up on <laughs> Very us. good Excuse at that. Me. Yes, very So very since good he doesn't that. live in the trees, is he closer related to a squirrel, or he almost looks like a little uh, chipmunk or almost mm -hmm. something like that? Chipmunk is in uh, the ground squirrel uh, little subfamily. Oh, okay. He's most closely okay. related to like a prairie dog. Oh, uh, okay, because yes. he looks a lot like a prairie dog right now. Yes, here. looks like a little prairie dog, <laughs> okay, and is just doing his, he, his, his aerobics here. He his, likes you better, his round. I think so. Okay, no, 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 he's just making his, Bam Bam's just making his rounds <laughs> one after everybody. another. He's I like think little he knows NASCAR that, laps. That, that Beth has the treats over in that little pouch? Yes, okay. okay. And you said they live in, in uh, Burrows very around, yeah, right? very very large colonies underground. But they don't necessarily have the relatives over for Easter brunch. No, they only visit their very closest relatives. They would not cross the entire colony to see anyone. A lot of people I know <laughs> same, same way. It's like, hey, I ain't going across town to see to see them. So. Okay. Hello, and they're native hello, to hello. The United Montana, States. Montana, yeah, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and up into Canada. Okay. And how about how long do they? Is he full grown? Uh, he is full grown, but he's very young. He's actually only uh, maybe about a year old right now. And about how long do they live? Um, they are pretty small, so they'll live about three to five years. Okay, you, Shit. you didn't hear that. Shit. You're <laughs> fine. That's okay. Fine. Okay. You're fine. 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 Okay. okay. All right. Next, Next. we have Who do another. We have? Well, Oh, and the wall is going like, what's on your oh. shoulder? I'm going up there too. Hello. Uh huh. Do you want me to take this? the ground squirrel yes. from you? Yes. Okay. Here. Okay. Come here. Come here, Bam Bam. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, Bam Bam's going this way. Okay. Bam Bam's going this way. Bam Bam's going this way. How many? Right. There you go. I got it. Talk to your host as it takes to wrangle okay. the ground squirrels. Here we go. Right. Who is this little guy now? Or this is guy? Ranger. Ranger is a Bennett's wallaby. It is the largest species of wallaby. And you said there are more species of wallabies than kangaroos, There right? are. There are 51 different species of wallaby and only four species of kangaroo. And But they're all found in wallabies in like Australia? And Australia New and its surrounding islands. This okay. guy specifically, Bennett's wallabies, are uh, most, most commonly found in Tasmania. Okay, oh. and they use their tails, of course, like kangaroos, right? Like for balance and how, how fast 
How fast does that thing go? He Going full <laughs> speed out in the open, he could go 10 miles an hour going on a good hop. Wow. Okay, this okay. is kind of fun having this guy on my shoulder. It's like a game we play here. Just back and forth, okay? Um, and of course, um, when so just like kangaroos, when they, they keep uh, their young in a pouch, right? Yes, all marsupials, kangaroos, and wallabies included will keep their youngs in pouches. Ranger here, however, is a boy, so he does not have a pouch. Okay. And like kangaroos, their little young are born just little tiny fetuses, and they have to right crawl into, into the, the pouch. pouch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Last but not least, we have a what? Oh, oh great. Chiquita. This is where you exit because yeah, this because, is yeah. come over here this? with the furry creatures. All right. <laughs> okay. This is where Mike. Mike doesn't like doesn't like snakes. So you're you're in charge of Bam Bam there. Okay. Yes. Can you handle yes. Bam Bam? I don't know. For us for a bit. Bam, okay. Bam Bam's going to Beth. Bam Bam's going to Beth. Okay. You're going to let Beth here, handle here, everything. Here, here. Okay. okay. What are you gonna do? Hide? Are you just gonna hide from the snake? From yes. the snake? Okay. All right, Beth. Who do I have here? Who this is you? Chiquita. Now, is Chiquita? Is when was is 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 Bam Bam okay being near Chiquita? Yes. You actually yes. named a snake fine. after a banana? Of okay. course. She is a banana-colored ball python. She is. All right. Yeah. Now, ball pythons. They will obviously wrap up into a ball, right? Yep. That's where they famously get their name from. Okay. Are, are and. They, are th they're, of course, not poisonous. No, they are not venomous. They are constrictor it. snakes. We would never hold venomous snakes Absolutely. like we do these guys. Now, what do they eat? Um, they eat mice. Sp mm. Specifically, we do frozen thawed mice, so we don't give them live. And then Chiquita mm -hmm. is actually very special. She gets her name from her coloration, being a banana ball. Their identifying feature is all these beautiful freckles that are on her. She will get more oh. and more freckles as she gets older, just like a ripening banana. A oh. snake after your heart. Oh, she has freckles. So I've never heard of them So you do before. school talks and come to various groups and everything, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. School talks, birthday parties. We'll do visits with senior homes. Okay, and about how many different animals do you all have there? Uh, we have about 37 different animals on property. Okay, okay. what's your favorite? Um, my favorite is probably Ranger right here. Oh, yes, because you get your chest rubbed by oh, yourself. Oh, look, Banana's looking at you, Mike. I know. <laughs> yes. All much. right. Well, Beth, thank you so much. For more information on Happy Tales, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. Thank you very much, Beth. Appreciate that. All right, well, spring, of course, we get into Easter. It's a great time to get... Oh, Jesus, God, I <laughs> forgot that thing was next to me. Uh, you want me to read your line? Please. Um, spring is a great time for patio brunching, and there's a new hot spot in Southtown serving up all your favorites with an eclectic twist. And our Jen Tobias Stresky takes <laughs> us bravely inside blush. You can come back. I'll, no. I'll move. Thank you. Turn the other way. <laughs> Spot in San Antonio, and today we take you to Blush, where they're serving up cocktails, coffee, and brunch seven days a week. The menu's eclectic, it evolves, and it's very international, and it's gonna kind of just change with the seasons. I do love that it kind of shows a little bit of where everybody's from here in the restaurant. Like, for example, on the bakery, we have our Filipino pastry chef, and she brings some of her pastries here, like the enzimada. Yes. Um, she's eventually also gonna show us the puto flan for fiesta, which is an ube. Um, ube base with a flan yeah. top. It's really great colors, it's gorgeous, yeah. So. Our executive chef yeah. from Guam, that's where his background's from. So he has a little bit of influence on the menu with some of the proteins he's doing and some of the seasoning. So it's a really eclectic menu. And then our background is, you know, Mexican, Puerto Rican. So we're kind of trying to put little touches here and there. And yeah. this is just a brunch menu. Brunch allows us to do whatever we kind of think makes sense. And we've got influence from everywhere. So it's, it's really great. And for the sample of the food, we got to try the avocado toast scramble made with the house-made sourdough topped with some soft scrambled eggs, avocado, a dollop of their signature caviar. Yes, eggs on eggs. So good. Eggs and eggs just kind of make sense. So it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
then the creme brulee French toast. This is whipped up with their house-made brioche, stuffed with a creme anglaise, cooked like a traditional French toast, and then brulee on top for a crunchy texture with a creaminess at the same time. Mm. Yes, the crunch. Mm -hmm. If you're a steak person, the steak fritz are for you. The short rib is topped with a truffle aioli served up with some fries. Can't forget about the cocktails. The startini includes matcha syrup, lime cucumber, condensed milk, and vodka. Bliss in a Kiss is one of the favorite mimosas on the menu. It includes mango, coconut, and bubbles. Great cocktails, craft cocktails, a nice bar outside. We, de we designed the outside space to kind of be a little oasis, so we've got the vines when you walk in, and uh, the bar is outside as well. So we just hope that you know everybody you know comes out, takes a look at the place, enjoys the space and, and the food that we're offering, and you know understands that we're just trying to be a part of this community here. And this here is the entrance when you walk into Blush, you can go to the bakery on this side. It opens at 7 a.m. for some grab-and-go pastries, coffee, lattes. This side is the restaurant and they open at 10 a.m. Again, 10 to 4 on the weekends. It is 9 to 4. Brunch served seven days a week. For more information, you can head over to SALive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. Okay, that egg dish with a little bit of caviar on there looked delicious. Right? Welcome yeah. back. Thank by you. The way. <laughs> you don't have the snake anymore. By the way, they do have a DJ on the weekends to keep the beat while you brunch. <laughs> and you can make your reservations to lock in your spot. <laughs> what are you doing? That's the DJ at brunch. <laughs> <laughs> they also have mocktails. Those great cocktails are going to be mocktails. If you want a non alcoholic uh, version, they got you covered as well. Still ahead on SA Live, the welcome the Santa Easter Live. Bunny with a basket of conchas where you can get these designers no. and sweets and try the different flavors. Don't come with, near me with that thing because I got to read here. And next, you don't have to spend a lot on Easter holiday. We're showing you different ways to decorate and celebrate that will cost you only a few. Please stop, everybody. You I don't like. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, Easter is just the first of so many spring celebrations. And of course, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, not only just on Easter, but just period, but still have all those great decorations. Right, so yes. local artist and owner of Princess and the Monkey Home Decor, Stephanie Pena Frost is here to show us some Hello. inexpensive ideas to celebrate yes. the holiday. And we love inexpensive yes. ideas. Yeah. Right, right now, it's a perfect opportunity to really kind of show your decorating skills mm -hmm. with easy finds at affordable prices. Okay, and we yeah. are starting with that decoration with this right there. right here. So this is, uh, these are just some garden stakes that I found at, at, at an area kind of home improvement, a uh, home de decor store. Mm -hmm. You can go expensive, you can go non-expensive. Um, you, you know, you don't have to worry about paying, you know, breaking the bank on these. And all you're gonna do is, Mike starting off on it, you put some hot glue on these stakes and then you kind of glue them together. You gotta let them dry a little bit too to make sure they, that they get a really good hold on them. And then uh, Fiona's gonna start on this right mm -hmm. here. She's gonna take a garden pot, if you have one at home, great. She's gonna stick some, some inexpensive flowers I got at the Dollar Tree. And just, just decorate kind of, stick kind it in of the, the back. back. Yep, okay. Make it look like a pretty little flower pot. Oh, look at this. Yes. And then we have one right down here that has already, since the, the glue takes just a second to dry here. But yeah. now these oh, are, are pretty that. hefty, wooden, they really are. nice. They seem, they look like they'd be expensive. So uh, those came from uh, a little bit more expensive spot, but you can't really tell the difference between the $7 ones and the $3 ones. Oh, they do. You really just... can't. No, you oh, can't. Wow. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so you put a little bit of, of grass, your Easter grass, that of course you're gonna have for your, oh, for your I baskets. Need, I, I need that. Yes, she this, needs okay. that. There. And there. then that you just stick it in some styrofoam that I placed in there and kind of glued. And it's a perfect little reusable pot. So then this, right now, look at that. <laughs> and the nice thing being wooden, that can go outside, maybe on the front porch yes, or something, yes. and then just put a garbage bag over it, store it for next year exactly. too, right? They are made from MDF, so it is a very, uh, very uh, oh. good, sturdy uh, kind of uh, okay material. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we're going to have you do is we're going to have you do these really fun uh, dipped Oreo cookies or uh, I got these from HEB. You don't have to spend. I'm just going to move this to the other side. Oh, yes. so that you don't you have to spend a high dollar on, on expensive cookies. You can get of course the local brand ones mm -hmm. and you dip it in the, in the almond bark or the white chocolate. You, there, yours are oh, here. I gotcha. Yes. I gotcha. Okay. There you go. And then uh, you roll it in 
your sprinkles. Oh, if you don't have the Easter that. sprinkles, but you have the other colored sprinkles, just use those. Yeah. You oh. don't have to spend a ton of money, but it kind of makes it fun. So they're kind of like your own little decorated Easter eggs as well. And again, it's really, really inexpensive. I mean, just melt some chocolate yes. and you can even microwave it if you need to. Or yes. like you said, these little sprinkles in different colors. Different colors. Ooh. Look yes. at you go. He's getting all fancy on us over there. Oh, 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 oh. No, it's, it's best okay. to put it in the plate yeah. first. Mike knows his way around glitter. Yes. Okay. And then, um, <laughs> so the next thing y'all are going to do are these really cute peeps in a car. So oh. Twinkies. <laughs> you got to love Twinkies. I just realized what that one was. <laughs> Yes, it's a peep in a car. So, so you cut out about about an inch and a half, two inches. So allow for the peep, uh -huh. and then you take your your almond bark that you had for your cookies. Okay. So that's just kind of stuck on in there. Uh huh. And then you want to take the knife and spread a little bit of the of the almond bark onto the little bitty mini. This will be like the, the glue okay, to hold so it on there. The glue, put it like that. Put okay. it like that. Uh huh. And uh -huh. you take your little minis, and I took the oh tops off of them. Yes. And those are going to be your wheels. And you glue them to the sides. Uh -huh. So I use marshmallows. If you don't have, if you can't find the minis, I use marshmallows and just roll them in the in oh. sprinkles. So okay. You can do that. Okay. Go like that. And, and then if you wanted to add some little extra special decorations to those, I, I found those cute little flower, candied flowers. Oh my gosh. So you could decorate cute. it like, like like an Easter parade. Yes. Or, mm -hmm. and what? then you said you can actually put the chocolate on here. On there, and then and roll it in the sprinkles. Do up the windshield. Mm -hmm. Oh. And oh. then mm -hmm. I'm moving around here. Uh, yep. Uh huh. And then we go like this. Okay. Yeah. So, oh my you gosh. Know, when too I was, cute. When I was at um, Dollar Tree, I uh -huh. found these really cute um, carrots and these little gnomes, and I put them on a little bit of wreath that I had. You can make the cutest decorations with the stuff Ooh. you find at the at the bargain stores. Oh yeah. Super look easy. At that. It was uh, two bags of the of the carrots. No, it was one bag of the carrots, and mm -hmm. then I used one. I, I used half of, of the gnome. So I paid maybe three dollars for that. Yeah. And look and at how cute that is. And that's such a great little gift. And the cooking. Oh yeah, you know, so even for gift. for a teacher mm -hmm. or you know, mm -hmm. I mean, look yeah. at that. And this, I got an unpainted bunny from um, Hobby Lobby, and they have the, this grass there, and I put it on there, stuck it on there, and I put some little Easter candies, and it makes a great little oh, great ideas. Easter and again, candies. Really inexpensive stuff yes. too. Oh, go. thank you. Okay, You're welcome. Reese's. Okay. Bye. All right, okay, and of course, big projects coming up this fiesta season. Yeah, oh, Look always, for your always. decorations at some of those hotels. Yep. And of course, your website. For more information on Princess and the Monkey Home Decor, go to salive.com and click on the ad scene on SA Live yes. tab. Still ahead on SA Live. You ready for those spring cookouts? We got a recipe, an easy one that has flavors you will love with a healthy twist. And next, classic conches have gotten a makeover where you can get these fun, one of a kind designs and flavors you can choose from. It's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Concha, see, it's almost Easter. See if we did there, Concha, see. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, all right. Okay, but you're supposed to laugh at my jokes, okay? I laugh at yours. Anyway, these treats can make it extra special. Laugh. Mm. And Grace, who's the owner of House of Sweets, joins us right now. Okay, let you in on a little secret. If you could have seen us putting all this very hot chocolate into pastry bags in the commercial break, it was like a. I yeah. felt like we were on a on, on a national cooking show. <laughs> like, you have ten seconds. Contract. Go. <laughs> Welcome, Grace. Welcome. Okay. Okay. So your conchas, tell us all about them. Mm -hmm. Okay. How did you get started making them? I started making them based on two reasons. The very first one because I miss the homemade bread that my dad used to be a pastry pastry chef more than forty years. And there's always, always fresh homemade bread. And where are you from? And, you know, I'm from Macau, China. Okay. And the other reason I'm making guancha is because guancha absolutely remind me my favorite bread, uh -huh. uh, which is called pineapple bun from my hometown in Macau, China. I see. Okay. And so are these conchas? Um, they're a little more uh, moist or softer, right, than your typical ones, mm -hmm. right? Because that's what reminds you of your childhood, yes. right? Okay. So this is not like the, the conscious that you're going to find. Ow, this is really hot I, chocolate I, I, I right know. now. We're, 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 oh, it's around okay. here, it's okay. right? It's a little bit different than what you'll than what you find around My here. My guan cha are way softer 
than like than the ones you here. Can. And you have how many different flavors? I ha I offer twelve different flavors. Okay, and what kind? Um, they are here. We display six of them. Uh, the flavors, which is Oreo, um, fudge stripe, dulce de leche, uh, Mexican hot chocolate, vanilla Ooh. and and chocolate and coconut mango. And then what flavors do we have over here? Uh, over there we have the vanilla birthday flavor, which is the white with sprinkles. Mm -hmm. And the other one is tricolor, it's just more colorful. And the, the, this one is Chip Ahoy. Chips Ahoy? Yes. Ooh, now, don't it's not do. just what you see on top, there's, there's fillings inside them too, right? Is this yes. filling? This one comes with chocolate. Oh, yes. Okay. Check, wanna, check, yes. check, check. Break it check. open, break it open, break it open and check, okay? I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm okay. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Oh! oh. Ha, ha. Now, okay, what's next for you? Uh, next, we are going to decorate this mega size guancha, which is about eight to nine inches big. Okay. And we are going to decorate with some chocolate on top. Okay. And so, have we started this cr somewhat correctly? You, you guys did amazing. <laughs> I just realized that I used the pink for the ears and I was supposed to use the white. If That's okay. Yeah. If somebody wants to order yeah. these, how do they get a hold of you and how much, do you still take orders for Easter? Yes, so people can um, message me through Facebook or Instagram to place their order with at least two days of notice. Okay. And um, we offer curbside pickup in the Valley Ranch neighborhood in San Antonio. And we are available from Thursday to Saturday, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. All right, and there's how you can find her on Instagram right there on the screen at house oh, underscore oh, of underscore sweets 22. And we have a link to that on our website. Just head to salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. That's delicious, Conch. Thank That's you. That's good stuff. Thank All you right. so very Thank much. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live. Want to turn your spring topsy turvy where you can have a mind bending experience for the whole family? family right here in the whoa Alamo City and next it's always a good time for tacos how you can spice up taco night and even give it a healthier twist you don't want to miss this easy recipe you're watching SA live welcome back to SA live well spring is here fiesta is on the way that means plenty of reasons to fire up the grill and our dear friend Jamie McNeil from Beef Love in Texas is here to share an easy, affordable recipe that you might want to try on your next backyard cookout. Good to see you. Oh, it's so good to be here. And this is not only a delicious recipe, it's nutritious too. So we get all the bang for our buck here. Uh, all right, so what are we making? Start so you're already grill. starting us with this delicious sirloin steak that I'm going to show you how we're going to make a rub for it. And then Mike, go ahead and throw on some of those poblano peppers there and some onions. We want to get those nice and grilled while we're getting our steak ready because when you grill veggies you just get so much more flavor developed it's just absolutely delicious and while you've got those going on the grill you can come back into the kitchen and mix a little bit of comino with fresh garlic that's all I'm doing two ingredient rub that's How it. easy and we are going to put it on this delicious sirloin steak one that of was it just two ingredients two ingredients okay. we're making our little rub and the thing I love about a sirloin a couple things it's super versatile so it's tender and delicious and flavorful but it's also one of those mini lean cuts of beef that we have so again we're using lots of fresh ingredients here really easy tender delicious sirloin steak that we've got this is what it's going to look like when you put that nice rub on your steak and that's okay. what you've got going on the grill now i always think of a sirloin that when you go to a restaurant you know new york strip sirloin as being an expensive cut of meat is it a strip is a strip loin now this is about half the price of a strip loin okay. and you're going to get great tenderness the thing about a sirloin is i pick these up on sale put them in the freezer because they're so versatile you can use a lot of different ingredients with it and they're going to make delicious steak tacos you guys are taking some of those yummy grilled uh, veggies that are coming off the grill and I'm going to start making our mango poblano salsa. I added these delicious mangoes. Mm -mm -mm. So much color and flavor and nutrition. Some fresh cilantro. When you're doing a, a sirloin on the grill like that, since it's, it's a very lean cut, you can want to be sure you don't overcook it so it'll dry out easily, right? You, and so. medium rare is great. And remember, Beef Loving Texans is your go-to resource for all the grilling guys. So get yes. on there and check them out. <laughs> I'm adding some lime juice to my cilantro and mangoes, a little bit of salt, and then you're going to just start adding in those delicious 
delicious grilled onions and poblano that you've got there, Fiona. Uh, and look what we've done. We have made a, a fresh, wholesome salsa with so much flavor and tangy with that savory beef that's going to come off the grill. Let us make a salad out of it. You can make a whole meal so. just out of that. Or you can take some grilled tortillas. Take some of those little street tortillas Sorry. and put them on there. Get those on the grill. And when this starts to come off the grill, what you've got is grilled tortillas, right hearty, there. protein rich steak, delicious mango salsa. I mean, savory, delicious, perfect for spring. You don't mess up your kitchen too much. It's awesome. And it was pretty quick. And can you make some of this ahead of time? You can. We did this last mm -hmm. night. It's delicious. All the flavors come together. Mm -hmm. Sirloin steak tastes great left over as well. Yep. So you could do this. You could make a salad as you said. Okay, quick question. When you talked about getting it on sale and then freezing it, that's okay to freeze beef and it doesn't really change the, the flavor or anything? No, you can freeze all? beef and you want to use some handy thawing. You know, you don't want to thaw out on the countertop, right? We want right. to thaw in the fridge if we can. And remember, Beef Loving Texans is, has all the steps for thawing, freezing, the timeline, so be sure and check them out as well. And I guess the trick is you want to make sure it's whatever you seal it in is airtight so you don't air get any, any freezer burn on yes, or something like that. Yes, I so, love doing that. I like put them in a zip top bag and stick them into the freezer and then they're just handy and mm -hmm. go. You're only going to need to do those sirloins about seven minutes, seven to 11 minutes on each side. So okay. they are quick and easy. I like a nice medium rare like we've got in our steak tacos. Yeah, you can kind of do point. that and see how that's coming along. And you're carving it just right, Mike. You want to go against the grain like that. And, and you there can, is that much of a grain in a sirloin like that? There's a little bit of grain there, so okay, that so, helps keep it tender. So that would still, well, it's still cook it a little that's bit. bad. Okay. But All you right. can see how tender that is. Oh, so I know, I barely. You really don't need, uh, <laughs> I really don't need much. Yeah, that's what works really great about this rub. You need a lot of elbow grease there. Not and at of all. course, for all these recipes and more, where can they find them? They can go to beeflovingtexans.com. All right. For more information, amazing. yes, on Beef Loving Texans, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. And that was delicious. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, looking for a quick trip to take your far away from your stress, take you far away from your stress, where you can find these luxurious vacation homes and why it's a great spot to unwind. And next, turn your world on its head. How you can take this mind-bending journey here in the Alamo City and find out how crazy things can get at this local adventure. Don't go anywhere. This is not an episode of Stranger Things. We are here at Ripley's, believe it or not, and joining me right now is Gianna Benamati, General Manager, and this is your peek at their newest exhibit. Tell them what it is. Uh, this is Ripley's Illusion Lab. So it is a immersive experience. So things that are gonna kind of be like an eye trick, things that, you know, you can't really tell what it is at first, and then once you look at it a little bit longer, then you kind of see the illusion. And you can also be a part of the illusion too, which is really cool. So it really does challenge your senses, For right? sure, yes ma'am. And there are some comedic moments to oh, be had as well. Yes ma'am, kind of like your head on the plate earlier, for <laughs> sure, bet. yes. Uh, we do have an infinity room, so when you go in, um, it's really cool, there's a bunch of mirrors and you see yourself everywhere. We have a really cool recollections room where you get to see your shadow on the wall as you move and it follows you and it has crazy colors and stuff. Um, we also have the head on a plate, which you enjoyed yeah. quite nicely earlier, where it looks like your head is on the plate of food and it's really neat. I mean, take that Halloween photo now, right? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so brand new. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what's been popular so far? Everybody loves this room for sure. And then they really like our, we have a neon room, which is really cool. And it's super Instagrammable. People love taking pictures in there. So that's one of our most popular rooms for sure. I can see people just getting stuck there in the dance room. Oh my gosh, yes. People <laughs> love staying in the dance room. I mean, you were in there for a hot minute for sure. Yes. It's a lot of fun. All right, so you're open. Tell folks when, what hours? 
Um, so right now for spring break, we are open Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. And then Fridays and Saturdays, we are open until 12. So you can come out and see us until midnight this weekend. And then next week, we'll be back to our normal operating hours. So you can see us any day of the week. We're open 365 days a year. And of course, Ripley's Illusion Lab, not the only thing at yes, Ripley's, believe it or not. Yes, we actually have four attractions here. We have the Illusions Lab. Um, we also have our Louis Tassad's Palace of Wax. It's our, all of our wax figures. Um, we have our Ripley's Believe It or Not, which is all things weird, strange, and odd that are collected from all over the world. Um, we also have a 4D theater, which is a motion ride um, and a 3D experience. So there's really something that everybody from all ages can enjoy. All right. Okay. Tell folks where they can go for more information. All right. You can go to ripleys.com slash San Antonio and you can check out our website and you can see everything that we have here to offer. All right. For more information, of course, on Ripley's Believe It or Not, just head to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just snap that QR code on your screen. Next on SA Live, take a trip and get inspired. Why this vacation spot might end up making you give your own home a little facelift. We check out the incredible designs. Stay with us. Ow. <laughs> it only goes from the other side, Ted. It's <laughs> Mike's greatest nightmare. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. Well, thinking of taking a trip to the hill country or maybe just remodeling your home with more pops of color? Well, this spot in Wimberley will give you tons of ideas. Okay, that's a really great looking mm -hmm. place. It is called the Lazy Lavender. Boy, guess whose name is written all <laughs> over this one. And it's the dream of one Texas couple turned to real life. And of course, Jen Tobias Strusky, Miss Lavender herself, <laughs> takes us there in this happy space, Texas trippin' mashup. work paid off. Time for a tour. The Pink House is embracing the feminine touch. And this is our pink artsy. Um, it all centers around the mural you see behind us by Carrie Schmidt and uh, the muralist title she became herself. And so I created this as a romantic getaway or as a ladies getaway. Um, I think it works for both. I mean, if you're a guy out there and you want to surprise your lady, then I think this is the space you need to book and not tell her about until she walks in. A beautiful living space, complete with a colorful mural, pink cabinets, and a perfect reading nook. I told Nick, I want a reading nook, and he said, you want what? <laughs> <laughs> I said I envisioned this little space where you can sit and read a book and be cozy, you know. Every time I walk in here, I'm still amazed. I'm still awed with all the different design aspects, how many different pieces of different colors and materials had to come together to create this beautiful, happy space. Upstairs, the master suite is complete with windows for stargazing. The second bedroom, just as quaint, with a nice pop of color. And can you believe this piece of art is a shower curtain? Step outside, you'll find a full deck complete with a private tub, plenty of trees, and a nice area for some morning coffee. The treehouse, a bit more wild with the whimsical touch. So Natalie wanted a treehouse. I said, you are nuts. <laughs> She said, do you know how much more that costs? <laughs> so, so we started designing it. We started putting um, you know, the plan on, on paper. And we worked with our builder. And it ended up being this massive treehouse that's 35 feet tall from the, from the ground. Underneath, underneath it, it's open. So there's, there's a, you know, almost like an extended patio area. And uh, I also wanted a huge outdoor space. So in the back, you're up in the tree level, and there's a big field behind you with exotic deer. And you just sit there, watch the sunset, watch the wildlife, and just... Take a bubble bath in the outdoor bath. Take a bubble bath under the stars, um, and, and gosh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful space. It is like a tree house, but it also has a lot of unique touches. So it has a big tree branch made with a monkey on it. 
that has lights on it, that has these starburst lights in the ceilings that, that sparkle at night. The bathroom is a truly designer's bathroom with a window we found in an architectural salvage in shop. In San Antonio. In San Antonio. You know, the Archie Cabin is our smallest property. To me, it, it just needed to be a cozy space for two. And, um, you know, we have the, the kind of crazy green concrete floors. And, you know, when the guy came out and I said, I want them green, he's like, most people do brown. Or, and I'm like, no, we don't do brown. <laughs> um, and so he said, are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? I'm like, yes, I want them green. I wanted it to be very nature, you know, like it has these beautiful old oak trees and um, I envision all these swings and hammocks and I just wanted it to be a, a, a nice outdoor space. It also comes with an outdoor bath. You know, for a tiny place, it's almost a tiny house because it's 330 square square feet, um, but it works super well. It has a very large shower, it has a, a full kitchen with refrigerator, ice maker. It's very important to me to offer a space where people can actually cook a little or... Very cozy. Well, this has been quite a treat, and talk about the ultimate happy space. Now, if you'd like more information on the Lazy Lavender, you can head over to salive.com, just click the Happy Space tab, and by the way, Natalie and Nick are available if you would like them to help you design the ultimate cottage, treehouse, you know, whatever you can think of, obviously, they can make it happen. For more information on that team and to get that done, again, salive.com, click the Happy Space tab, or we provided all of their information. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. Tomorrow on SA Live, we taste authentic Mexican food from a new spot in town with recipes that you may not have tried before. We're gonna tell you where to find this fun new eatery. Plus, the local film scene is booming. We meet the cast from a new San Antonio movie and hear a special performance from the film soundtrack. All that and a whole lot more tomorrow, 1 p.m., right here on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. you to tell us why you love your grandmas. What's the favorite thing about your grandmas? Oh, yes. Oh, Veronica, the cooking, absolutely. Uh, smell the kitchen. Grandma always says yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, yes, she was my biggest supporter. And she's always been at my side no matter what. Scolded me when I was wrong, congratulated me when I was right, and has been my rock since I was born. Wonderful, Shawnee. And Sharon says, my grandmother's love, period. It's like no other and in everything she did. And that one that said grandma always says yes. Grandmas and kids have a common, common, common enemy. That's true. <laughs>